My name is Morgan Heim. I'm a natural history photographer, and I've come to Colombia to explore the birds of the Andes, the Pacific, the Llanos Plains, and the Amazon. Come join me and discover why Colombia is the number one in bird species on Earth. The tropical Andes is one of the richest biodiversity hotspots of the world. Especially in Colombia, it's been the most prolific source of new species for science in the last years, mainly because of the complexity in elevations and habitats on our three different Andean ranges. I'm here right now in the Western Range because this range meets the Pacific Ocean and you get environments that converge from both sides of the range to create this explosion of life from different habitats. When I got here, I met Michelle Tapasco. She is the owner of the lodge and a birding guide. Mi nombre es Michelle Tatiana Tapasco. Hacemos guianza en el Parque Nacional Natural Tatama. Aquí es donde vive toda nuestra familia. And she took me straight into the mountains to start looking for birds. So we start our day at the top of the mountain and we make our way down throughout the course of the day. Fue genial estar con ella porque haberle podido explicar que las aves que aquí se encuentran son muy muy especiales entonces uno suele encontrarse pájaros que uno no no espera que estén ahí you have no idea what you're going to encounter from day to day One of the most remarkable phenomena in these Andean slopes is that you have groups of related birds that replace each other on the elevational gradient. It's siempre muy, muy diverso. One of the birds I most wanted to see right off the bat was the gold ring tanager. The gold ring tanager is one of the two endemic banks of Colombia and it's endemic to the western Andes of the country. It's a fruit eating bird that prefers the plants on the Schifflera and the elephant ear families and unfortunately is classified as endangered. Gold ring tanager was the bird that was just asking to be in front of the camera. He would come out and perch on branches, eat flowers, hop around, and it was one of the few birds that once it landed someplace, I knew I could just keep my camera there, and even if it flew away, it would come back and perch again. And then it would just hang out for the longest time. It just seems so relaxed. I think it knows that it's a special bird here.
Hummingbirds are one of the most widespread and iconic Andean groups of birds. They are vital for pollination because they are restless feeders and they have a unique flight pattern. Every single one of them is just brilliant in a different way, whether it's in their color, or their size, or their patterns. In this moment, we are in an época of nidation. It starts in enero, febrero, marzo, and va hasta abril. Now we have found a lot of nidos. They're building their nests, laying their eggs, raising their babies. It's the best time to come if you want to see this really intimate behavior. It's been a tough shot to line up because it's up against the sky, but I think we're all set and ready to go for when the parents come back with more material for the next. The nests are everywhere. I mean, it's like every bird is having a baby right now. Y es muy lindo saber que están ahí, así como uno necesita su casa y que le respeten su su pedacito de familia, de rincón. Así también los pájaros pues necesitan su su espacio para reproducirse y para estar ahí. So when I'm watching these nests and I see Michelle watching these nests. She just gets so excited, and it's like seeing her own life kind of blossom. Yo vivo aquí con mi familia, que se compone de mi mamá, mi papá, mis hijas, eh, un nieto mis hermanos, mis sobrinos y el perro y el gato. Pero aquí estamos todos, todos trabajamos alrededor de los pájaros y bueno, poder compartir como mi familia con la familia de los pájaros ha sido lo máximo que me ha pasado y que realmente estoy feliz de estar donde estoy y de poder ser parte de, de, de la conservación de este sitio y poderlo compartir con otras personas. <música>